Welcome back to Crux Stationalis, the Roman Station Church Network. Today we find ourselves at the Basilica of St. Anastasia, or Sant Anastasia. This minor basilica is the Roman Station Church for the Tuesday after the first Sunday in Lent. As we head inside, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And when you are done watching, share it with your family and friends. The first church was built here in the early 4th century and was one of the original parish churches of Rome, the Tituli of Paleo-Christian Rome. It was the only one to have been situated at the ancient centers of power and pagan cult, located at the Forum and on the Palatine Hill. And so it remains at the foot of the Palatine Hill, snuggled away in its piazza, but not insignificant, for it bears the name of one of the saints in the Roman canon. The insertion of her name, Anastasia, into the Roman canon of the Mass towards the end of the 5th century shows that she then occupied a unique position among the saints publicly venerated in Rome. Thenceforth, this church on the Palatine is known as Titulus Sancte Anastasiae. Anastasia is a martyr of Sirmium, one of the imperial capitals of the later Roman Empire. She was martyred in the persecution of the Emperor Diocletian. Sirmium is now a modern-day town in Serbia under the name Sremska Mitrovica. According to Theodore Lecter, an early 6th century historian at Constantinople, the relics of St. Anastasia were taken to that city and enshrined in a church called the Anastasis, which was then dedicated to her. The name Anastasis means resurrection, and thus how fitting it is that the name of today's Titulus recalls the paschal mystery of the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus, the woman who bears the name Resurrection, Anastasia. We recall this mystery each day more and more as we enter the Lenten season in preparation for Easter. Anastasia becomes the titular saint of this old 4th century basilica. Evidently, because of its position as titular church of the district, including the imperial dwellings on the Palatine Hill, this church long maintained an eminent rank among the churches of Rome. Only two churches preceded it in honor, St. John Lateran, the mother church of Rome, and St. Mary Major. Both are station churches of this first week of Lent. St. John Lateran on the first Sunday of Lent, and St. Mary Major on the Wednesday of the first week of Lent. The statue of Santa Anastasia in the niche in front of the high altar was planned by the sculptor Francesco Aprile. It bears a similarity to the statue of Santa Cecilia by Stefano Moderno, which we will visit on a future tour to the Basilica di Santa Cecilia. Both the altarpiece of the Nativity and this fresco of Santa Anastasia in glory are by Lazzaro Baldi. It is held in tradition that St. Jerome preached here in the year 450, against the heresy of monophysitism, condemned at the Council of Chalcedon. The Council professed the true faith that Christ is one divine person with two natures, both human and divine. Today's Station Church is subsequently mentioned in the year 499, in the surviving catalogue of the Roman Synod held by Pope Symmachus as the Titulus Anastasiae. And then it is mentioned again in a 7th century pilgrim itinerary, where we hear this title, Basilica que appellatur Sancte Anastasiae ubi cruces servantur que portantur per staziones. The basilica called Saint Anastasia, where the crosses which are carried at the Lenten stations are kept. It was here that the various cruces stationalis were kept. It is from these very crosses that this channel takes its name, Crux Stationalis, a cross proper to each neighborhood of Rome, behind which the clergy and faithful would gather before processing to the day's station church. The commemoration of Santa Anastasia at the Mass at dawn on Christmas Day is the last remnant of the former prominence enjoyed by this saint and her church in the life of Christian Rome. Rome never misses a chance to integrate her ancient history, 
secular and pagan, triumphant and Christian. Here formerly stood a shrine marking the home of Romulus and Remus, where the she-wolf raised them. Those same brothers founded Rome in the year 753 BC. And so on the site of Santa Anastasia, this memorial of raising a child who would come to found and rule Rome points to the much greater birth in the history of mankind, of whose commemoration this saint points to in the church's calendar on Christmas Day. That is, the birth of the God-man, Jesus Christ, King of the universe. Thank you for joining us at Crux Stationalis. I'll see you at tomorrow's Roman Station Church, Santa Maria Maggiore.